the two bones we find in the lower arm or the forearm we have one called the ulna the ulna has um, an olecranon process here's the olecranon process here's the semilunar notch or the trochlear notch and here is the coronoid process so it actually kind of looks like it has a face here, I mean a jaw if you will. The upper jaw would be the olecranon pro process, the mouth part would be the semilunar or trochlear notch, the lower jaw would be the coronoid notch, I mean coronoid process. Here is um, a little smooth area, this little smooth area on the side of the jaw, lower jaw, is, a, is the radial notch. That's where the head of the radius articulates with this bone. So there's the radial notch. Okay, now the distal end of the ulna. On the distal end we find a little uh, projection, a little bump here that kind of points out. That is called the styloid process of the ulna. So here's the ulna. In the uh, forearm or antebrachium we find another bone. This is the radius. It has a very circular head. So here's the radius. So this is the head. This is the radial tuberosity, a rough spot just down from the head on the radius is the radial tuberosity. And when you get down to the distal end of this bone, it has sort of a point. This point right here is the styloid process of the radius.